Hello all, in continuation to the series of what's new in 2023 release wave 2, we are going to talk about cracking the code, fixing the posting date versus document date relationship in Dynamics 365 Business Center. It's a feature, it's not a bug if you thought so, but there are certain changes based on the business requirement and let's understand what those changes are before we get into it. So I have this environment of my business central 2022 and if I go to my sales order and there are certain date fields as we know there are some fields like document date and posting date we are only talking about this at this moment so the <clears throat> document date on a sales or a purchase document aligns with the date on which that document that uh, you have sent to customer or if it's a purchase document you have received from vendor so the business central can correctly calculate uh, your due dates and other things, financial charges and amount due. Whereas the posting date, the other field in the equation, shows you when the document was registered in business central. Now, till this point, till business central 2022, when you change it, and let's look at this, both the dates are 4, 5, 2023. If I go back and change this to 4, 6, let's say, Nothing changes here on the posting date, but there was a opposite relationship. If I change my posting date from 4-5 to a future date or a previous date, let's say 4-7, it'll automatically go back and update my document date. That was been there for a very long time. People who are coming from NAP would understand this. That was there for a very long time and this is how it was working till now. But what happens if we try the similar behavior in the newer version, which is Business Central 2023 preview at this moment? So if I try a similar kind of document where there is a document date of 4.3 and a posting date of 4.4, and if I change it to 4.5, what happens? Nothing changes on the document date. So who broke the relationship between the posting date and document date? Let's get into the code that's where the magic is right here's the code when we change the posting date field in my sales header and the same applies to the purchase documents <clears throat> when this date gets validated the document date is changed based on posting date now I have a new condition which is sales and receivable setup there is a field called link doc date to posting date now this field, if it is enabled, then will validate it, otherwise will not validate it. So let's get back into our system and let's see what that field looks like. Sales and receivable setup. <clears throat> Somewhere on the general tab, you will see link doc date to posting date. And this field, if enabled, specifies whether the document date changes when the posting date is modified. <clears throat> sorry now you'll say that if it has been working for all these years what's the need of this change so as per Microsoft there are different accounting standards where to ensure accuracy of financial calculation the sales and purchase document uh, have these date field to be set correctly so there are some accounting standard which says that they should be same the accounting date and the posting date but there are other po <clears throat> other accounting system or practices which suggest that this should be different based on when the document was created versus when the document was registered or posted. So to make it flexible for the business users so that it comply to their local rules that they have, accounting rules, Microsoft have added two new fields, one on the sales and receivable setup as we see here and a similar field on purchase and payable setup. Okay, on purchase and payable setup. There should also be a field, let's do show more, link doc date to posting date with the same intent, which will, if enable, will update your document date when you change posting date on vice versa. Now, <clears throat> this setting have no impact if you are only using journals. It only applies if you are using 
the documents like sales and purchase orders and invoices. Now, remember this, that the customers who will be upgrading to Business Central 23 from Business Central 22 or any previous versions of Business Central or Dynamics Nav, for them, the default setting will be true because that was the default behavior. But any new customer or any new environment that gets created after the general availability of Business Central 23 will have this flag set to be default to false. So if <clears throat> you are a NAB or a Business Central consultant who works on an implementation team and see this behavior, <clears throat> remember to check your sales and receivable setup or purchase and payable setup to make sure that is that feature enabled or not. So the extension will work as it is and there are events available so that you can control it. But from a new implementation perspective, this field will be set to false by default. And from an upgrade perspective, this field will be set to true for any existing NAV customers. When they create a new company, it will again be set to false. So keep that in mind. There's nothing broken in the relationship between the posting date and document date. It's more flexible and then a business can decide what kind of settings they need uh, for the relationship between posting date and document date. Let me know your views into the comments. Did this feature look great? Do you think we are good with the enabled Boolean and use as it is? Or there are customers who are asking for it and you might have done a mod for it. I'll be waiting to see your comments into the video. And I'll see you sooner than later with the next feature that's being announced in 2023 release wave 2. Thank you. Have a great day.